Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So, so far in the our discussion related to internet of things, we have covered the communication models, the four types of communication models. Okay. So, in this video, we are going to discuss another important concept associated with IoT, which is the application program interface the short form api okay so the first question what is this api or the application program interface the technical definition is that it is a set or collection of internet protocols or uh, standards that govern the communication okay the data exchange between the various devices and uh, the various devices or appliances whatever which is connected or it is part of the iot network okay such uh, you know uh, we have rules and regulations you know in the law in a particular uh, country similar to that it is the rules, regulations and standards that are set to govern the way of communication, how the various devices will communicate, that is the, the set of rules and regulations, it is governed by the application program interface. Now most of the applications that we normally use, it is not just one program that is uh, there it is a combination of programs okay which function simultaneously or one at a time it depends how it is uh, it is it is uh, it is there in the network what is each program's function so depending on that the dynamics the mechanism of that application it depends so most of these applications they have multiple programs that interact with each other so the api is actually the interface the link between those multiple programs okay let us uh, understand it first with a non technical example then with a technical example okay the non technical example suppose we go to a restaurant and uh, we want something to eat obviously that, that's why we have gone there now we don't directly go into the kitchen and uh, shout our order to the chef you know i want this or that or whatever we wait there we wait for the waiter to come we uh, the waiter takes down the our order whatever we want then he or she goes to the uh, to the, in the to the kitchen and places the order then the chef prepares whatever dish we want gives it to the waiter the waiter uh, then gives it to us that is the sequence of uh, events that take place here the waiter acts as an interface okay the connecting link the mode of interaction between the between us and the chef in the kitchen okay as we cannot go directly into the kitchen so the we place our order to the chef through the waiter so the waiter acts as an application program interface between two programs us and the chef now a technical example now suppose uh, we we use uh, the online uh, cab applications various uh, cab applications for, to order a cab or a ride that we use there there are many things that are involved now there is one program which is responsible for taking our personal information our name uh, our credit card debit card information if we or, uh, choose for online payment then our phone number our email whatever it is uh, to record and store that information it is the responsibility of one app uh, one program or app, which is uh, uh, the responsibility of one program then we have uh, you know most of the almost all the applications they have this map thing which helps us to track where the track the location of the driver okay the location of the cab where it is and the uh, 
uh, number plate what what is the number the vehicle number okay of the cab or whatever that is the responsibility of one uh, program then we can directly call the cab driver to uh, to chat with him about to give us uh, uh, to give us our exact location so all of these programs they continuously function and interact with each other so that is it involves application program interfaces okay which enables all of these multiple programs to interact with each other okay so this is the api now there are various types of application program interfaces that are present first one is the open or public apis then the partner apis the private or internal apis and the composite apis let us just discuss them in short first one is the open apis so the open apis uh, they are also called as public apis because they are free for public use they are publicly available they the public has free access to these apis without any terms conditions or restrictions then we have is the partner apis now these apis they are not available for free or public use we have they have certain terms conditions restrictions associated with them and they require license agreements or rights to access them okay that is the partner apis now here we are we are not going into detail about these things we will we have we are just discussing them in short okay then we have is the internal apis now these apis are uh, privately accessed okay they are pri they are also called as private apis and they are generally accessed by a certain company or organization for their own private use and they also have certain terms conditions licensed agreements rights associated with them but they are for a company's or organization's own private use then we have is the composite apis now this api is a combination of all the apis that we have discussed the open the partner and the internal now it depends uh, how uh, which characteristic feature is stressed upon and which one is neglected so that is that is that depends on the user okay how he or she wants the particular interface to function now the examples of uh, the application program interfaces commonly used uh, are rest which is also called as representational state transfer web socket and uh, simple object access protocol soap so these are the there are many more there are many more uh, application program interfaces these are just to name a few now interesting thing is that we have already discussed the request response the various communication models the four communication models request response publish subscribe exclusive pair and push pull the representational state transfer api follows the request response communication model okay where uh, the client has to send a request to the server for a particular information or data the server responds to that and uh, sends the necessary data may very much similar to the online search engines and uh, the exclusive pair which is followed by the web socket the exclusive pair is also very much similar to the request response it involves the client and server but the difference is that request response is a stateless communication model where each request response pair is independent but here exclusive pair it is a stateful and each response request response pair is dependent okay so in uh, exclusive pair the previous communication has to be terminated for a new communicating link to be established so i have dis discussed this in detail in the communication model videos i have posted uh, those videos so you please check out those videos first okay so this is the uh, api examples okay so here are the basic things uh, about uh, the application program interfaces we have discussed okay and we discussed two examples one technical and one non technical to understand it how it uh, works so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering 
have a great day thank you very much